Now, you probably already know that one of the most powerful features of Revit is the ability to extract data from the model. Um, one of the types of data we look for typically is areas, volumes, things like that, stuff, information that we can use for quantity uh, work. So we do that by creating a schedule, uh, in particular a material takeoff. So if we just click on this here, it gives us uh, our options. So the first one we're going to do is the walls. So we have a look at the walls there, so we have wall material takeoff, phase new construction, good. Click OK there. What I'm going to do is grab the family and type, and that'll be of the wall. And then if you go further down, we can get materials. So things we're going to want are material name, uh, area, and let's get the volume. Uh, URL model mark, all other type of stuff is there. Uh, cost can be held if you want to hold it in the model, but it's a lot easier to actually pull it out and use it in uh, Excel. Anyway, so we have these three here, so we click OK, and there we go. Now, um, you can see there, that's the wall. And we can see here we've got brick, uh, our insulation, and some plaster, masonry units. Uh, all that stuff is there. And you can see the individual um, areas given here. Now, one of the things you should see is that um, we're not getting an awful lot of, of accuracy in here, or precision, I suppose. Um, now, we can adjust that by going back into our dialog here and having a look at the formatting. So if we select, for instance, the area there, so this is the 50, uh, we can go into the field format here. Um, by default, it uses the project setting, so we can turn that off and tell it to round to, say, two places a decimal. It gives um, uh, a great at you rounding increment there, so we can see what we're looking at. Uh, we're going to keep the units the same. So we click OK there, and if we go back in and have a look, you'll see it's 49.6, so that could be significant over large volumes. Uh, internally, though, of course, it's going to uh, do the calculations correctly. Um, material volume is fine there. Now, what we're not seeing here is a length. And if you look in the field list, it's not there. So if we go into the material there. Uh, we don't see it. Now, depends upon the, the component, but we can, if needs be, calculate that. And we do that by adding what's known as a calculated value. So in the fields tab here, we have calculated value. So I'll click on this. And I'm going to call this uh, material length. Now, so that's giving it there. I'm just following the, the format being used here, so that's what the, the colon's about there. So it's going to be based on a formula. It's going to be discipline common. Now, the type there currently set the number. Uh, we'll see what we can do with this in a moment. So the formula I'm going to use is going to be volume, this one, divided by area. Now, when I click OK on this, it's going to, yep, kind of contain them. Why are you doing that now? Uh, no, it's not liking that. So maybe I'll try this as a number. No. Let's try length. Let's see, is it happy there? OK, what non printable character? Uh, it's probably down to here. OK, it's not going to let me do that then. Yep, there it goes. Now, um, what's probably missed there is when you're calculating this thing, uh, it needs to be set to length. If you try and set it to anything else, it's going to get upset. All right, so material length goes in, no uh, non-printable characters, and click OK. And we'll see here it's giving the material length there. All right, let's go and have another look at this thing. Have a look at that calculated value. And actually, if we go back into formatting, on that length, we can go into the field format, take the project settings off, and we can set that to millimeters. Probably not right. Uh, I imagine it should be meters. And uh, there's maybe two decimal places there. Click OK, click OK. And it's actually the width. Yep. So it's the actual thickness of the material that's coming up here, which makes sense. So what we'll do with that is set that to millimeters because it would make an awful lot more sense. So let's go back into this, back into the field format, change this to millimeters, click OK, and click OK. So yeah, 102.5. So you can see there, that's our brickwork. So we can get all that information out as well. Now, the final part of this is to get the information out of the system itself. Now, it's all well and good in here, 
but what we really want is something in Excel. So what we can do is go into our export function here and if we scroll down we can get reports and under schedule we can say warm material takeoff.txt there and if you want that, well it's going to be delimited anyway um, so we can throw that wherever we want so let's throw it on the desktop and click save and <laughs> looks like I've done this before so I'm just going to replace it and our export rules then, so schedule, uh, export the title, probably don't want that uh, and a few other bits and bobs there, so tab or comma delimited I find comma tends to work a bit better and click OK